I think it smells fine. Weird. I mean, yeah. We're almost at this point having a fully expired burger. <laughs> Chat, this is what we got. We have some ground sirloin four one third beef patties, okay? We bought these before February 20, are these bad? Sell by February 27th? We have to smell them, hold on. I mean, we did eat the, we did eat the late meat last time. Yeah. Here's my rule of thumb. It right. doesn't smell. I like to imagine myself, listen. Yeah, smell? exactly. So this is what I do. Okay, okay. A lot of us in America, we really live by the expiration date. We truly, truly do. Yeah. When I think in a reality, I like to think of survival scenarios, right? Yeah. If I'm hungry and I need to eat, what would I do if there was no expiration date? I would open it up, smell it, look at it, say, hey, looks good to me. Cook it up and eat it. Yeah. The expiration date is a suggestion. Give it a, give it a sniff. Yeah, if I was- I think it's good. If I was surviving and there was no expiration date, I if would- we, If we, it was a life or death scenario, I would eat that. I would eat that, but it's not a life or death situation and I'm still gonna eat it. So, <laughs> so we are where we are. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, these are fine. Like there's actually, I don't, I don't even see any gray. Okay, so here's what we need. We need to season the burgers, chat. So, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, this, this is fine. Look at that. It's looking good. Yeah. Honestly, I, now, some, some grocery stores I go to, they literally sell gray meat. You know, ooh. Yeah. The forbidden LSD. <laughs> <laughs> Do we season these? Oh, yeah. If it's for a steak or if it's for brisket, it might be a little too dank for... Yeah, I've made, I've made that mistake before. It's like, it's like a Hawaiian. Steak and brisket rub, if you use it on something li lighter, it will make it taste too good. It's good on beef, brisket ribs, fajitas, tenderloin steaks, burger jerky. It has like, it has like, um, what's the ingredients? It's got like, it's got like pineapple fruit extract in it. It like tenderizes the meat because it has pineapple fruit. Basically, the thing that, that, you know how like if you eat too much pineapple, your tongue gets like raw? Mm -hmm. It has that in it to like tenderize the meat. Oh, hamburger. It says it. Yeah. Sick. Let's do it. Let's try it out. I yeah. love trying out a new season. Chad, we're gonna try out some grub rub. Is it adobo? I think it's, it says benzoyl peroxide. Sugar, salt, pepper, spices. One of the ingredients is literally spices. Hell yeah. That's their secret. That's the secret, it's spices. Garlic, onion, bromelain ten tenderizer, which is pineapple fruit extract. Uh, would you like to apply? Do we need anything else? Um, does it have peppers in it? It does. It has, so it has spice? Yeah, it has everything, salt, pepper, everything. That's all, that's all you need. Okay, so I don't know how dank it is, so I don't really know how much to put on there. Should we just put light? Just put whatever you want to put on there, put it on there, and then we'll just put on Tony's so it'll, it'll balance. I feel like Tony's will make it really dank. Do we have to work it into the burger? I don't think so. See, what if it's like super strong and then it just tastes like a salt burger? Yeah. That's what I'm, you know what I bet we have to do with this? Dude. What? Oh, it's pretty, pretty salty. Flip, flip it and do both sides. Yeah. I'm gonna try to take that. it, I'm gonna work it into the meat. Work it into that meat. And then I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna re repurpose it. Oh, you're gonna remake the patty? Yeah, yeah. Is that a good idea, you think? I mean. That's ambitious, isn't meat's it? Meat's meat. Man, is it a good idea if I do this? I feel like. Well, let's try with one and if you fail. I mean, honestly, if you, get, you gotta get the warmth in there and it will kind of, it's like Play-Doh. You kind of gotta warm it up a little bit. Get that warmth in there. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm, there you go. Look at that. Whose meat is that? It's your meat. That's my meat. People say, put your thumb in the center of the burger. Why is that a thing? I always see people say that. Uh, you know why? I bet it's, I didn't even think about this till now. So, it probably, that's the, that's the place where it's, it takes the longest to cook. So if you push your thumb in the center, you're thinning it out. So even, you know what I mean? So it, it needs less heat to cook the center. But if you just cooked it properly, which shouldn't be an issue. No, 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 because like, this, the outside edge, it like it cooks, burger cooks like this. Like, like, imagine the earth. Yeah. And then you go down to the core. Mm -hmm. If you, if you do this, then it makes the core a little bit smaller. But what about other meats that are thick all the way through? You don't push your thumb on the inside. I think those that's just for people that don't know how to cook. Well, I think that's the easy way out. It is. I say cook your burger without pushing your thumb in there. No. And you know cook what? it right. No, this is the way that you're supposed to do it, okay? This is the way that it's meant to be done. We've done it for years as tradition. We should go get outside. Oh, yeah. 
It's actually cold outside. Oh, is it? Do you know? It went back down to 40 degrees. No, nope, never mind. But yeah, I, maybe it'll be warmer. By that's the... survivable, honestly. Yeah. Dude, why does the temperature keep going up and down? Because it's Texas. All right, so we have your burger, my burger, the other seasoned burger, and then bland burger. Did you get, did you get both sides? Yep. So we're, that means we're ready to throw it on the, wait. Dude, you know what I just realized? What? We don't have buns. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, bro, then pancake buns? Like a McGriddle? Hold on, let's see. No, I think that'd be bad. Cause that, that'll work with chicken. I don't it'll work with beef. I don't know whose bread that is. We could eat it though. It's fine, it's okay that we don't have bread. But it's actually terrible. <laughs> we don't have any toppings. Daddy, are we poor? We don't have any toppings. Daddy, are we Oh, wait, no, this cheese. Oh, my God. Hey. <gasps> no way. Oh, looks like we got lucky. We did get lucky. Some good old American singles. Okay. Look at that, chat. Lucky for the singles. How many meats? You, how many cheeses do you want? Um, say two. You ever just eat this? I used to as a kid all the time. I used to too. Yeah, I, I used, used to, to fold them and eat them. Mm. I would also eat macaroni and cheese with chopped up hot dogs in it while I watched The Simpsons. Really? Yeah, I mean that's a That stuff. sounds good though. Yeah, what is it? yeah, craft macaroni and cheese with, with, with hot dogs. Cut up hot dogs. Yeah. I bet it actually is good. Nice. Then your burger. Very good. Oh shit, that's good. No, that's good. There we go. Okay, so here, let's stuff like this a little bit. Okay, so now we have to let it sit. So usually you want to go until, um, you want to see the blood come out. Come out of it. Yeah, I think you're supposed to squeeze the blood out, right? Oh, oh, look, it's spewing. I know people are in. It's probably good for a flip, right? Oh, frick, that is not ready. Oh, you see that? There's the blood, the blood's coming there out. There you go, that's what you wanted, huh? Yeah, yeah you, want, you want to squeeze it so the blood comes out. Cheese? Yeah. Oh, this yeah. was yours, right? The salt and pepper? Yeah. Yeah, throw that, throw that good old craft single on there. There you go. Some real American cheese right there. You know what's crazy? This is the farthest from actual cheese. Yeah, that I is. think that cheese has gotten aside from Cheese Whiz. It's yeah. almost at this point just like... I mean, it is cheese. Yeah. It's just... But it, is, but it isn't. Yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but it's not. Oh, this is February 28th. What's the day? This is going to be... I mean, a week is, is, I think there, a week is bad. Is there, is there penis? Oh. Uh, bro, we're straight up. I think we're, it smells fine. We're, I mean, yeah. We're almost at this point having a fully expired burger. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we toast it. Hey, well, I don't have a toaster. Because I have the toaster. Toast it on here. This is the ultimate, like, like, like single guy cooking street. And now, like, <laughs> this is the epitome of like a single guy in his 20s, like not having any idea what he's doing. So there's that. Then we need to toast our bread a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna put these here. So let's toast our bread to make sure it's, you know. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's already on the burger anyway, so like. <laughs> right? It's expired bread anyways. Yeah, it's expired. We need to do this to kill the germs. <laughs> Yo, are we in a survival scenario right now? <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I mean, it's hey, it's toasting her up. Let her toast up. Hell yeah. Have you had French toast? That sure as hell I haven't. <laughs> Honestly. Damn commies. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little bit of a... It's going to be a little grizzly, but... It's okay. I would be thankful. <laughs> That's the baseline that I'm... <laughs> <laughs> when it, you're like... Is it good? Dude, I'm just thankful that I'm eating. Then it's funny because you yeah, feel like, what the hell's wrong with you? And then you have other people, why are you throwing away expired food? <laughs> mm, that's some good eating right there. Expires this year, but it's all one big chunk on the center. No matter how much, you see it? It's like a body of mustard. Oh, well, it's like a frozen. I don't think it's frozen. I think it's just coagulated. That's not right. Where was this from? And it expires this year. Usually, usually mustard has a lot more time. I have a feeling it's sat at room temperature for a while. 
Here, have, you know, have you heard of decoagulation? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Two faithful streamers eat their expired burgers. What about Chipotle? Is Chipotle good for... I don't trust what that is. I don't know, it's not Chipotle, it's Chipotle. I wrote Chipotle on <laughs> Yeah, Chipotle sauce is good for chicken only, right? Yeah, why is it... Why is Chipotle sauce in there? No, I wrote Chipotle on it. That's a meme. Oh. Well, we're by Chipotle. Is it good? Chipotle sauce is amazing, but it's, I think it's for chicken. Can I, that's diagonal cut? Yeah. Okay. Just like mommy made it. Yeah, yeah. I just to make sure. Because I want people to, to see how well this was cooked. Mm -hmm. There you go, Chef. They're so cold now. Yeah, Chef, yours is m m more done than mine. Oh. Interesting. Oh, I'm so thankful, bro. Look at that. You'd eat that, right? That's fine. Yeah, that's good. I'm eat mine. Okay, I'll see you, Chef. It is good. I do know one thing. I am so thankful to just mm -hmm. be able to get nutrients in the back. Dude, I actually think I could have put more rub rub on there. Um, mm -hmm. Plus, that's more, more protein. Or cap it up. No, no. You were one of those kids that ate the Uncrustables because the crust was too intense for him. You got to heat up your little Uncrustable, huh? <laughs> my mommy heats up my Uncrustables from... <clears throat> Would you like some of my gushers? Dude, <laughs> Uncrustables are for pussies. <laughs>